All right, this is part two of the initial kind of product question that we had uh, based on fill rate. Um, instead, this is gonna be a SQL question, right? Okay. So we have two tables. Uh, one is called impressions and then one is campaigns. Also, everyone, please check out Interview Query. It's a website that I made specifically to prepare data scientists for their interviews. Uh, you can filter a bunch of data science interview questions by company, uh, run SQL queries, discuss solutions, and learn data science with our in-depth solution guides that we provide. Uh, you can sign up at interviewquery.com uh, and get a free weekly interview question in your inbox. Uh, the impressions table uh, is essentially like an event level table where every single time an impression is created when a user sees an ad, um, okay. it, is, it lists then the user ID, the campaign ID of the ad, and then uh, a distinct like impression ID. Uh, and then the date time. And then the campaigns table uh, is like every single ad campaign, right? And then uh, this is more of like telling about like the target that uh, they're trying to reach. So an ad campaign can start in December 2019 and at the end of February uh, 2020 and then have a target number of impressions that they want to hit. So uh, let's say that you're a data scientist on the ads team. Um, and you want to generate a daily report that tells us how campaigns are performing during the past uh, seven days. And then using this data, how would we evaluate how well each campaign is actually delivering and what heuristics do we surface uh, campaigns that actually need attention that might not be delivering or performing well? Okay. Um, okay, and we should assume that there are a, like, a lot of campaigns running at one time, right? And we yeah. want to see um, on a daily basis how each of those campaigns are delivering. Yes. Delivering. Uh, yep. Okay. All right, cool. Um, so we would start by summarizing the impressions table. So let's start with that. So what do you mean by summarizing, I guess? So, um, so I want to know like per day, per campaign, um, how many impressions it's delivering per day. Mm -hmm. So this would be like number of impressions um, from my impressions table. Yep. Uh, two. And essentially what this would give me is a daily summary per campaign of how many impressions it delivered that day. And then my ask is to do, generate a daily report that tells how it performed during the last seven days. So are you looking for like how many impressions did it cumulatively delivered in the last seven days? Is that the seven day window? Uh, yeah, or maybe just like an average, like a moving average of the past seven days. But since we want it just for uh, today, then it could just be the past seven days divided by total number divided by each, uh, each day, which is seven. Got it. So let's call that that and then I would select from that table. Um, where you know date is less greater or equal than current date let's just assume that works yep days i think i should uh so that would get me the last seven days and then sorry you said we want to look at we want to look at it compared to its target yeah, so uh, effectively, we want to figure out um, if we're on track to deliver for the target, right? And so, um, and we also want to sort by like the most, uh, by the campaigns that are probably not performing well, so that we then have to put in some like manual help into those campaigns, right? Or manual intervention. So is there, is there a heuristic or a metric that you could use to figure that out to sort by um, to then surface those campaigns. Got it. So I would probably sum up the impressions per campaign in the last seven days here. Um, 
as the total number of impressions delivered during those seven days. Um, and then I would, I, I could actually divide by seven here and then just call this like daily average. Okay. And then I can also look at it in terms of, I can, I also want to look at it in terms of total delivery outside of the window of seven days, right? I want to look at it. Um, I want to look at how many impressions have been delivered up till today, such that I can see how close it is to my target goal, essentially. Yeah, like if you're on track. Right. So so, so okay so i first i i definitely want to compare daily average and i want to compare that to uh target impressions over end date minus start date just also assume that works date diff or something like that yep assume that works um so so obviously then i need to join in my fact table ID. So what this will give me then is like an easy way to kind of compare like if if it were delivering like you know equally daily like how the last seven days kind of look like as expected daily delivery um, and then potentially in another query let's look at how this how this thing has just delivered in total um, I might actually be able to use a window function here, right? I could just do Does this do you remember if a window function respects the where clause or will this just take it all of it? Uh, I'm not actually sure for window functions, but I do think you need a group by in this seek in this query because you have oh, some yeah, yeah <laughs> good point um so so what i'm trying to find out here is i want to find out all the impressions delivered uh up to today so like let's say let's say i don't know whether this is true or not then i'll just have another ct which is like total impressions so i'll select just campaign id without the date and then i'll count by one of them and then I can just join this in too uh it doesn't really matter join uh actually I'm a little worried about this because it'll join in for every campaign every day and lead to a bunch of fan out I can just use average it's okay so total impressions is the, yeah, the total amount that have happened so far, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, so yeah, since it's going to today, there can't be anything in the future. So um, that makes sense. And then you can just join that back to your original table. Yeah. In fact, I can, I'll, I'll make sure that just because like, in case we're running this for like a little later or something. Exactly. Say that's just for the past as well, so less than current date. Um, and since I have to summarize it somehow, I'll just use an average here on the total impressions. Since it's going to be joining in on every campaign ID every day yeah. uh, with the same total number, I'll just do an average. It should be okay. Um, and what I want to compare this to is I want to divide this over the total, the target impressions as like percent delivered right and then what i really want to compare this to is is how many days have passed so i get a sense of date diff day dates start day divided by i'm making massive assumptions that all of this works <laughs> Uh, and current dates. So sorry, I got these two reversed. So what I want is how many days, sorry, I want to know how many days have passed over how many days total I have. 
and I want to see how well that matches with how much delivery I've had. So actually here, what I'm looking for is current date and start date, right? So I'm take today and I subtract the start date and let's say a month has passed out of two months. So I would expect this to be like 50% of days have passed. So let's call this percent days passed. And then here we're seeing with 50% of days have passed, have we delivered approximately 50% of the impressions? Um, and then, so I, I would, in like when I go about analyzing this, I would try to hope that, or like I would look for cases when the last two columns here, the 2% uh, don't line up super well, like that there's a big delta between them. Uh, and then on the daily average, I would also hope that it's delivering pretty evenly, although, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to over a period of seven days, it, it could smooth itself out. Gotcha. So could you write like a example output, I think, of this end SQL query that you're looking for? Yeah, let me copy one of your tables here. So it would probably look something like campaign ID. And then we would have what's here a daily average. Uh, thanks. So yeah, so we'll keep that one. And then, so in this case, let's say today is uh, the 15th, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so daily average might be something like 200,000. Wait, let me just do the math real quick. So we have about 60 days, right? Yep. Um, 20 90 million. days. Over. Right. Oh, yeah, 90 days. So, yeah, we want to do about 222,000 a day. So let's say this expected daily is that. Then percent delivered is, is um, so we're on the 15th. So yeah, right about half. So let's say um, it's 50% it's or let's say it's slightly off 0.55. And then let's say over here, it's 0.5. Cool. So effectively the percent delivered would be our, um, would it be a metric combining percent delivery and percent days passed? So Sorry. it would be like the difference between percent delivered and percent days passed would be our metric. So if percent delivered is like 10%, but percent days passed is like 50%, then we're not doing well, right? Yeah, I, I will probably, since you said there's a lot of campaigns that have run and we're just looking at like a short amount, um, I would look historically and try to find out like how close those two things move. Cause I imagine these things aren't going to like perfectly match up. Right. It's not going to be like, especially in the beginning, like the first day you're going to see like, I don't know, like 1% of days have passed, but maybe on the first day it delivered a lot or something or yeah. vice versa. It delivered very little. So I imagine this, these numbers get closer, uh, the bigger they get. So uh, I would, I would look for what, like a, like an acceptable band of difference between these percents would be and build that in and say, if it's outside of, of that Delta, then, you know, kind of ring the bells. And if not, then, you know, it's probably fine and monitor in a couple of days. It like, it'll get picked up if something continues. Gotcha. Cool. I think this looks good. Um, and then uh, I think the sequel is generally right. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Yep. I cut.